Hey guys, this is Rad and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. No, it's the dead engineer here. Um, could you please stop? No one will understand what you say with that voice. Uh, I just wanted to help. No, it doesn't matter. You're not helping that way. Let me just do it. Alright guys, so, uh, you remember yesterday I made a video about micro haunted houses in vanilla Minecraft where I hidden some items inside it. I hope that you guys found them. And uh, anyways, one of the items were these proximity pumpkins which can turn on and off depending if a, a player is near them. So, let me of course show you guys how it works. Let me place one of these uh, proximity pumpkins on the ground. And as you can see, if I get close to it, it turns on. If I get far, it turns off. It's just a really simple concept that you can add to your map. If you're making a Halloween map, for example, you can add this simple mechanic to it. Right, so now let me show you guys how you can reproduce these into your world. Of course, you'll need to build a line of crumb blocks that is exactly the same as mine. So if you want, you can pause the video, build this line of crumb blocks and then come back so I can explain you guys what each of these command blocks does. Right, so you'll find all the commands that I'm using in this video in the video description. There's a link. If you click it, you'll be forwarded to my website page where you can find everything in the list the first command that you'll find is this one this command here will allow you to get of course this spawn egg and that's it now when we use this spawn egg we are going to summon a blaze that is named prox as you can see and with this command blocks here i divided the line as you can see in two parts so the first part here is responsible for generating the of course the proximity pumpkin and the last two command blocks here in the second part of the line are responsible for the actual mechanic that makes the pumpkin turn on and off depending on the player's position uh, right, so the command block here at the bottom, make sure that it's set on repeat, unconditional and always active and all the other command blocks are set on chain, unconditional and always active. So in the first command block here, we are going to execute where the blaze named prox is and relative to that blaze, we are going to summon an invisible armor stand, which has of course a custom name. I named it AS prox, but of course you can give to it a different name and then I made it invisible and marker so it doesn't have a hit and you can place blocks on top of the pumpkin if you want. Then the next command block here is going again, we are going to execute for the blaze named prox, but this time we are going to set a normal pumpkin block in the exact position. So when I use the spawn egg, you can see that we summoned an invisible armor stand that is exactly inside the pumpkin. And of course we placed a pumpkin in that same position. And the third command block here, it teleports the blaze named prox uh, 400 blocks under the ground. So it goes in the void and it gets killed. Then the next uh, command block here, it's an another execute command, but this time is relative to the armor stand that is named AS prox. Remember that we named the blaze prox, the armor stand is named AS, which stands for armor stand procs then re relative to that armor stand we are going to detect if there is air and if so it's true we are going to summon another spawn egg that is exactly like this one that i'm holding in my hand this basically makes the proximity pumpkin give me the spawn egg if i destroy this and i want to place it in another place then the last one here is going to detect when the armor stand named as prox has a block of air in it if so it's true we are going to kill that armor stand so it doesn't remain in, our, in the world so as you can see now we have the armor stand if we remove this the armor stand is gone, so we don't have random armor stands in our world. Then the second part of this line of coin blocks, as I said, is going to turn the pumpkin on and off and is a really, really simple concept. So the first command block here uh, is going to execute again for that armor stand and we are going to detect if there is a lit pumpkin inside it. If so is true, we are going to set a normal pumpkin. Right, so the last command block here is going to execute this if there is a player in 8 blocks of radius from the invisible armor stand. So if there is a player, we are going to place a lit pumpkin on that armor stand. Then if the player goes away, of course he is not detected anymore and this command block here is going to replace that lit pumpkin with a normal pumpkin. So guys, that was it about this creation. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did so, don't forget to leave a big like under this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Subscribe to the channel or I will come to your home and scare you. <laughs> Don't worry about the dead engineer, he's not that dangerous, but you should definitely subscribe. Okay, I'll see you all in my next video. See you. Bye.